Paul. And I'm Phil. Hey, Phil. I almost said I was a good uh, yeah. <laughs> Today, we're doing the very, uh, we're lucky to be doing the very rare uh, Old Curmudgeon's Better Half. So this is the Old Curmudgeon uh, from Founders Brewery, uh, aged with molasses and aged in maple syrup bourbon barrels. So this is um, along the same lines of what Founders does with their breakfast stout, how they age it in Kentucky uh, barrels, and then they ship it up to Canada and do the KBS, which is the Canadian, uh, or the CBS, which is the Canadian, Canadian breakfast stout. Kentucky breakfast stout and give it to Canada. Yep. Sure. Yep. Uh, we were fortunate enough to get a bottle from one of those cases, so uh, this guy. On, let's, uh, let's check it out. No surprise, it's kind of awesome. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, we're, we're, so as though we were going to be surprised and be like, you know what, they really missed it. It's kind of a letdown at this point because you know what's going on. Phenomenal. All phenomenal. you're doing is reaffirming that it's great. Uh, so, curmudgeon is what, an old strong It's an old ale. Yeah, it's an old ale. I don't know what that means, actually. I thought it was a strong, but it was could be uh, it's just a strong ale that's old enough. No, it's not a wee heavy, is it? It's not a Scottish ale? No. 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 That was the other one. Wasn't that no? I don't remember. I don't know. But this is delicious. I, I like this. You know what, what really kind of surprised me about it? The nose for it, the way it smells right off the bat, I mean, really, you, you would you would almost, you know, maybe 75, 80% be convinced that you're going to drink a glass of bourbon when, oh. when it warms up. Yeah. It's a little cold right now because we have it, but when it's warm, like when we had it at an undisclosed location with undisclosed people at an undisclosed time, uh, it, it was it was like room temperature. It really did smell like a, gla a glass of bourbon. Mm -hmm. And But the, the thing that I like, because I hate bourbon, um, the, 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 the smell of bourbon is great. It's the taste that I don't like. So the smell of bourbon was, was good, but then when you taste it, none of the bourbon actually comes through as a bourbon taste. You get the you get like the oak age part of it and you get maybe a little bit that could be into the bourbon, but the, the molasses and the maple syrup basically take care of that. Well this is not a lot more sweetness. This is also important to note, whether if anybody doesn't realize out there. And I believe this is the same way. This is the same way that the I think it's similar to the Canadian breakfast out, which is a maple syrup barrel barrel that was a bourbon barrel. Right, right, right. So it's a bourbon barrel yeah, yeah. that aged maple syrup that then aged the beer. So right, right, exactly. But and then they also did it with molasses too, right? Well, the molasses, but yeah, the yeah, molasses so, is just in there. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That the, the the maple syrup has already drowned out mm -hmm. the bourbon to a good extent, and then the molasses and the maple syrup together really, really curb that bourbon alcoholic part. It makes it a very, very smooth and very well rounded taste. I think. Mm -hmm. Um, founders out of Michigan, the old curmudgeon's better half. Um, it's the old curmudgeon aged in maple and uh, bourbon barrels. Maple syrup bourbon barrels. Maple syrup bourbon barrels and brewed with molasses, it says. Yes. Correct. Um. Oh. I think it's I'm tough. just going to go for it. I'm going to go for it's a 9.5. Right, I love it. It's not the perfect beer, um, for me. It's um, it's very special taste. I, th I like the complexity of it, and um, it, it's not. It, we've talked about like roller coaster beers, where it's like whoa, and then mm -hmm. you, you know your your palate's doing all sorts of things. And I don't think this is it. No, yeah. I think that this is pretty unique, and it's very smooth. And the um, I mean, obviously, the bourbon barrel and the maple barrels um, combine well because that's what they've done with the uh, um, breakfast stout yeah. that, oh. that's worked off the Canadian breakfast stout. So they 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 had kind of a, um, a format to do this in. Um, yeah, I think it's a 9.5. I think it's delicious. I'm glad that I've had a taste. I'll go for I'll just hit it. I'll go for 10. For, Whoa! But with a caveat of, I don't know if I'll ever see it again. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's just kind of like, I I got two tastes, we all got two tastes, and it's like, hey, it's awesome! You know, it's kind of, kind of like, I paid for the bottle, so I'm kind of disgusted that I had to, gave it to you people. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give it a 10, because I think it's going to be that rare beer, like like Canadian Micro Set was for the last two years. From mm -hmm. them, they just seem to be able to nail it. Like, you like this beer that we do? Check out, we're gonna do something crazy, and you're gonna want it. Yeah. Because it's good. It's very good. Yeah. It tastes great. It's a lot of stuff going on, but they keep it together. They keep it balanced. And it's delicious. So, yeah, I'll give it that for that reason. Yeah, I'll go uh, uh, just a flat nine. It's delicious. Um, it's not the perfect beer for me, so it's not gonna be a ten, but it's, it's fantastic. And, I'm glad that we were able to have it a couple times before it's uh, 
Con. Yeah, which I assume by the time this video is up, it is. Oh, gone. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't get it. I'm sorry. Unless somebody yeah, could yeah, hold yeah. off and leave it in their cellar for a while. Man. Thank you, Pounders. Keep doing what you do. Yeah, uh, thanks.